Hello, I'm going to show you my custom Lego headdresses or pet salon or whatever you call it. There might be quite a lot of background noise because my budget at the moment is very, very excited. As you can see, she just keeps on making loads of noise. Can't stop her, so yeah. So, and this is my pet salon. Um, as you can see, I've got a little garage kind of area there. The thing I don't like about my garage is multicolored. I wanted it to be all white, but I never had any pieces left. Or like all one colour, like maybe all red or something like that. But I can't do that, so it turned out like that. It's not too bad, I guess. These colours are similar to each other. Anyway, I'm, I'm quite happy with this model I've made. I've got this, this sticker sheet uh, from Hamilies, and it was for free, so I bought it, got it. I took two, one for my friend. And I've stuck quite a few of my st stickers on my models. And they actually do look quite nice. Um, they don't actually peel off very well, so I wouldn't really recommend it if you don't mind your, if you want your pieces to be in really good condition. But they will come off with a bit of um, water, hot water, probably. Anyway, I've got a post box here. And I've got a letter. I've got this one, the Lego Fans Advent Calendar. And I've got a light lamp over here. Which I got from the Lego Friend Advent Calendar as well. My new stuff you see will be for the Advent Calendar because I don't know. It had some nice stuff inside. And um, not all of these models are mine. They're, some of them are set, or one of them is a set. Inside, I've got a set. Anyway. As you can see, I've got this um, mini uh, pop-out window, which shows some doggy food and cat food. As you can see, I've got a dog and cat at the front, because they're the main two animals the shop has. And I've got a squirrel there. Then I've got a hedgehog, turtle and rabbit. I like how the this top bit came out. Came out. the back is like that front seat. so yeah that came out really well and now I'm going to show you what's in the garage so the garage opens really easily like this and you just stick your fingers in and the car will come out um, yeah Unfortunately, um, if um, if you have it like this with the handlebars on, it does not fit. So you have to actually take off the handlebars and put them in the back like that, and then it fits. If you put it like that, then it fits, but then it doesn't fit. That's the only bit I'm not quite happy about this. Uh, this is actually very similar. This is actually very similar to the Stephanie's Pet Patrol. I just kind of got the instructions and tried to make it with my own pieces. I didn't have all the pieces so I have to kind of customise this. Like, I never had another one of these back black things. So. I don't have any of that on here, but I don't care. And over here the animal can sit, or and you can put um, bones and stuff in there. So that turned out nice. The vehicle. The trailer comes off. It's got the hook. So yeah, 
yeah, that's a good vehicle. I put a vehicle in, the vehicle's kind of like, you can collect your, it kind of collects your pet, but it costs off, obviously extra delivery costs and stuff. So it's better if you just drop your pet off. But it can take it. Mm. So now the inside, the top is all open. I haven't got a lid. So I don't have any pieces left. I do have quite a lot of pieces left, but not whites. Just got like multicolored pieces like that. So anyway, this is my model. Um, kind of got to make Olivia is um, the like. The person who's coming in with their pet, she's got the dog, I guess. And she dropped off the dog in its play area. That's the dog's play area. Where there's a bowl of water. A stool, so you can just like jump on it and stuff. And a bone on a doggy basket. And I got that from my Lego Friends advert calendar. So that um, looks quite nice, that area. And i got a place for cats as well, which is, this is set as the cat's playground. I just stuck that down. And Mia is the one who look after, looks after the animals. Over here is where um, the people with the animals can come and sit. And they will do your hair, like style it. They won't... It doesn't cut it or anything, but just like styling it. I've got a um, hair piece, spare hair piece there. And then I've got these. This came from the Lego Friends Advent calendar as well. And so did all of these hair accessories. She's getting her hair comb. And at the back here, um, we've got a waiting area. We've got a waiting area and a bag. So yeah, or you can put an animal there, but I put a bag there. Over down here is um, the cash register, kind of looks like a computer screen a little bit. I might change the, that to a black piece here, so it might look better. I'm not even sure if I've got a black piece, but I'll have a look. At the far back corner, over there, um, it is a place to groom your animals. Emma does all the grooming and I got a hair dryer and a brush and I got these stickers over there you can see. Got one over there. Got a first place ribbon over there where the dog sits. And over here, that's where you can um, uh, give the dogs a bath. So you can just sit down. And I've got a bar of soap here. I pretend this is a bar of soap. Just a one by two flat, white. Just rub the dog. And you've got a stool here, so the... Um, owners of the shop can reach mostly so that all turned out really good I'm happy how this turned out because it actually looks really good from the front except from the garage but I can put that aside for now and at the back here in this corner I've got a cage I'm not sure what the cage is for for the animals but it's just temporary, not to stay for the whole time, just for like maybe five minutes or so. So say if there was no space in a play area, or they were fighting with another animal or something, they'll be in the cage. And I've got a flap here, so the cat might want to come up to sleep. Just put the dog up there. They fit nicely in it. Could just close it like that. 
They're actually windows, but I use them as cage. It's kind of tricky to get them out, though. I have to open it for that. I said I put it in the bottom window because then I can't get it out. And last but not least, I've got um, I've got a bucket and a broomstick which I got for the Lego Friends Advent nice Calendar, and that's to just wipe up all the hair and the dog mess and stuff like that, or the rest around the shop. I think I've covered everything. Just give you a bird's eye view of this model. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.